hey beauties and welcome back to i am beautiful hustle tv today we are back with a new video and today's hair is provided by her most of hair they sent me over this 26 inch deep curly wig and it is a 220 percent density and it is a 13 by 4 lace front wig which means i have parting space about four inches deep and you know it is 13 inches wide meaning from ear to ear but today i'll be deciding to do a top ponytail style with this look um, and you know, um, I did, you know, go ahead and dye this with jet black and I did bleach the knots and pluck it, but now we're going to get straight into the install and this is what the wig looks like after plucking and dyeing it black. So to get started, I am going to place the wig onto my head and make sure that it's centered. This wig did match my hairline perfectly today. So I was able to keep all of my plucking work, um, you know, on the hairline and just had to cut off the extra lace. So before I begin to add my foundation and begin to apply my layers, I am going to cut the extra lace from around the ears. So when I do lay the wig down, it fits perfectly. But nevertheless, we're gonna go ahead and get started into this tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy it. So first and foremost, guys, please ignore my ball cap because today I feel like my ball cap was a mess. It was just runs everywhere and yeah, whatever. <laughs> but nevertheless, I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses foundation in the level 16 palette and using a combination of both colors, I put it in the inside of my lace and I'm going to um, go ahead and begin to uh, put down my layers. And for today's install, you guys, I only use two layers and I'm using a strawberry scented adhesive. So I will be uh, spreading out my two layers and then I will tack down the wig. So now I'm going to go ahead and tack down the wig and I always like to start from the center first and then work my way onto the sides. And you just want to make sure that you do put the uh, hairs of the hairline past the glue. Um, make sure you are not um, tacking it down behind where you apply the glue. Make sure it just goes just a few centimeters past to just ensure that you don't have any glue outside of your hairline. And once you get it into place, just take your fingertips and firmly press. Then go on with your blow dryer and just blow dry your lace in really really good and also take a comb to help assist you put that lace in and just apply pressure from your comb from combing it back and blowing drying it with the heat you can also take your uh, hot comb as well and hot comb the roots of your lace and then tie it down with the melt belt So now that the lace has sat, um, the melt belt has sat, it's time to remove that melt belt and cut off the extra lace. And I'm just going in with the eyebrow razor and I'm razoring off that extra lace. And remember, because I said uh, this wig did fit my hairline perfectly, I was able to keep pretty much everything that I did pluck 
and none of that had to really get cut off just the extra lace itself so i'm gonna go ahead and raise off all of that extra lace around the hairline and just go in with the more glue and tack down any areas that may need more that i missed the first go around of applying my lace and i'm going to repeat the same exact steps to both sides And now I'm just going to go ahead and take my foundation and tap it against my hairline. Um, once that's done, um, I will um, pull down a section for my baby hairs. And at first I thought about doing a middle part. And then I thought about doing a, um, a, what you call it, a halo braid. But then I decided to just do an actual top ponytail. So I'm just going to um, just part off my baby hair section first around the sideburns, the temple area, and then the one in the center. And then I will begin to prep myself for my top ponytail area by sectioning off the top half and just wax sticking and hot combing out those areas.
and due to the area of the top ponytail being you know four inches i was able to create a nice um curved um round section for my ponytail and i'm going to hot comb around it and make it super neat and flat and then I'm going to put on a section for the baby hairs on the other side and pluck that out the way. Then I will spray down the hairline and tie the melt belt down again. So as you can see, I just hot combed all around that um, ponytail area and I'm just going to push everything out the way and super secure it with a rubber band. So when I do do my top ponytail, it's not in the way, but I'm just going to quickly add that wax stick on the front and the back and just hot comb it a little. So when I do go to put it in a ponytail, it is nice and flat at the roots and easier to slick up. And honestly, guys, I barely do ponytail styles like this because it is so hard for me to do ponytails on myself because just the way I got to hold my arms and angle everything is just kind of weird so I was actually surprised that with the first try I was able to get my ponytail exactly how I wanted it and had it sit in a perfect position so I was really happy about that and I did uh, take like two rubber bands and um you know secure it that way it was a nice little firm hold and then I was able to pull it tight and still keep it pretty neat for the most part so you know i will show you guys that briefly but um yeah once i secure my ponytail into place um you know i just focused on doing the baby hairs after but what i'm gonna do is just spray this hairline down now and then tie it down with the melt belt
so for me to get my ponytail how I wanted I actually had to put it from securing it from the front versus the back because if I would have did it going the way that I was slicking it like pulling it backwards then my ponytail would have been too far back like on the parting area and I wanted to be like right in the center so that's why I kind of pulled it forward while securing it with the rubber band and as you can see as I'm pulling it tight it is still nice and neat and just taking that got to be spray and just kind of like blow dry it up catching any flyaways the nice you know to help make it sleek and then just take a little piece of that hair and just wrap it around that rubber band area then we're going to remove that melt belt and get into the baby hairs And of course for the baby hairs I will be using the even even holding spray and I'm just going to do my little curved baby hair in the middle this is more like the little trending baby hair that everybody's doing now so I was like you know what let me just go ahead and join a little bandwagon and just do this baby hair with this install just to see how it looks and I actually liked it but for you know the size it's going to be my normal size regular little swoop and of course the curved um, swooped sideburn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the holding spray, cut curl, and you know, swoop my baby hairs with that holding spray.
And honestly, y'all, y'all know I hate doing my baby hairs on camera. It's just always more irritating to do. But nevertheless, I still did the best I could and swooped them, you know, on camera. And I am going to do the other side off camera and then, um, you know, remove the rubber band and show you guys the finishing look. But once I do do my other side, I am going to go ahead and take some foundation and conceal up my parts and this is what it looks like after doing both sides and I'm just fluffing the hair out and this is what it looks like puffy before I go in and add some mousse and I did use my beautiful hustlers mousse so first I'm gonna do is just go ahead and um you know tap more foundation across the lace and I'm going to take foundation and conceal up my part around the ponytail area just so it's a little more bold in the parting area and then I'm going to just add some mousse you know to the hair to define the curls a little bit more but still keep it fluffy at the same time so um, i'm going to give you guys a quick little 360 oh I had to fix my boob I had to give you guys a quick little 360 of what the hair is looking like yeah 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 super full super full super pretty that's what it looked like ponytail just you know 360 220 density y'all so it's super super full and pretty but this is what my hair looks like after adding the mousse to it just to kind of define the curls a little bit more still giving you guys another 360 so this install was pretty simple you know quick just how to slay your own wig and then, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching um don't forget to check out the description details down below don't forget to thumbs up this video leave a comment share it to friends and family because it's about time y'all learn how to slay your own wigs for real for real it is easy you just have to practice at it um well i'm not gonna lie to y'all it's not easy but you definitely have to practice but nevertheless i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on the next one